Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is Mark Forster. I'm from Comscare, part of the Ingram Micro Group. So we've got Wayne Sutcliffe with us, who went to VMworld as part of VMware. We've got Amar Jandu, who went to Microsoft Ignite. And we've got Dan Maynard, who was at the Cisco Partner Summit over in Vegas. Um, it'd be remiss if we did something like this and we didn't talk around on Obviously, Ingram Micro, world's biggest distributor within the UK, made the acquisition of Comscare and overnight built a best of breed service capability. So, from each of your individual partner events, from VMworld, from Ignite, and, and from Partner Summit, if you were going to turn around to a partner or into the partner community and say, This is the one way we can help, because we haven't got forever to pitch everything great that we do, but what, what's the real thing that, that we as Ingram Micro, Comscare can do? Uh, to help the partner either with speed or capability or enablement, education. What, why should a partner speak to us on the back of your events? And I'm going to start with Microsoft, I'm on this time. Okay, so, um, so I guess what, what I would say is that uh, we, the reason why, part, why they should work with us is because we can, using you know, leveraging Microsoft technologies and Microsoft methodologies, we can, um, we can help them automate their business without sacrificing flexibility and control. And that's something that is really difficult in this day, uh, well, di really difficult to achieve, you know, to think about it, how can you, how can you do that? You know, you still need people to be able to, uh, you know, do manual operations and, but, but you know, with, with the vast, you know, uh, the vast range of uh, solutions out there um, and methodologies out there, we, we can, you know, leverage Microsoft and, and also the wider partner uh, collaboration uh, to to really help customers and, and their you know their their experience, mm -hmm. and I suppose the, the one of the beauties of, of us as an entity is, is obviously the investment in the gold specialisations that mm -hmm. we've got and all, and all that type of good stuff. So I think it's a good point, Mr. Maynard. Yeah, I think the two uh, uh, two words I'd say would be probably scale and speed. I mm -hmm. think um, we talked earlier about speed to market. I think. Um, New technologies, new products, new programs, etc. From the all the respective vendors, it's difficult for partners to keep uh, to keep on top of or upskill their staff to be able to to understand that technology. We're in a pretty unique position, I think, as the Ingram Group in terms of the capabilities that we have, which allow partners to go and take that new technology, have the conversation with their customers, and be able to have the confidence to be able to back off the the, the technical know-how, whatever it may be. Mm. to a value partner of theirs, ourselves as Ingram. Um, as you said, you know, in terms of the status we have as, as the Ingram group across, uh, across the major vendors and the number of engineers that we have access to, nobody else can offer that in terms mm. of being able to take a technology to market for, for a number of the partners out there in the channel. So I think that speed piece is, is critical, but, and then also the scale piece. Um, I think you know, as I said earlier, I, I sometimes look and think of all the technologies that are, are that are available from the from the respective vendors. Keeping up to date with all of those is, is almost impossible. Mm. Um, I think alongside that, um, the uh, you know things like the managed service offering that we have as as Ingram as Ingram Group, but obviously the Comms Care banner. You know, managed services co comes and more and more to the fore from a Cisco perspective. I mentioned earlier, they've launched the new uh, the new program. Just using that as an example. A lot of partners out there just don't have the scale to be able to go and offer a not to be able to offer a true managed service to their to their customer base. With us, they don't need to. Is the reality? Um, they can they can back all of that off to us on a white label basis, however they want to operate. That again allows them to either to scale but also go, go and offer that a lot quicker to the market than they would do if they were just upscaling upscaling themselves as an individual entity. So, say those are the two things for me: scale and speed. No, I think that's a great point in terms of we obviously we do do a lot around enablement and making sure that they can get things to market um, as quickly as possible. I mean, we've seen successes around the SD WAN proposition that was done built on uh, various technologies and, it, and it's going well. Wayne, VMware. I suppose I've got to ask why wouldn't you use Ingram and, and Comscare as a, an enabler? Very well put. That I like that. <laughs> um, when you look at um, Again, the size, depth, and quality that we have with our specialist competencies. Again, I've mentioned Microsoft Gold competencies, 30, which is you know very highly regarded in in around the UK. Cisco Gold competencies, and then within VMware, we're a solution provider. And 
triple MSC, which again puts us in the lead group in in the UK. Um, you know, we're able to support um, our customers from supply chain through into the full technology lifecycle. We're able to help them with financing and procurement. We're able to help them with design, architecture, delivery. We're able to offer them managed services support. And our customers can choose which of any flavor of that of services they take from us, whether they want us to enable them, whether they want us to do the work on my label or deliver it on their behalf. I think that puts us in a unique um, position, particularly being channel only. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I think obviously the channel only message is always a big, a big one for us in terms of takes away the compete, especially like customer success comes on. And lots of people talk around the channel a lot and, and the role of, of the channel, and uh, we're in a particular um, special position in the fact that we just service the channel and know and know what end user, like a vendor almost. Um, so no, that's, that's great in terms of in terms of where we're going and what what we can cumulatively offer to the to the partner community to hopefully enable around this customer success beef which is incredibly important so i suppose the message from all of the the vendors into the uh into the various partner communities as long as they've got a devops operation they're doing it securely they're thinking about collaboration and uc and data's at the heart of it then they're going to be all right i suppose if we're ticking most of the boxes in in, in a single sentence <laughs>